Welcome back to the program. If you hear construction going on in the background, it's time to flip those hot dogs and those burgers, okay? We're building a temporary refugee camp here for some of the illegal aliens. Yes, oatmeal is fine for the smaller children. All right, I'm joking. We're dealing with all these sound effects. I thought I'd try and lighten it up a little bit. Um, we were talking off camera, and I have a... I have an emotional and a spiritual difficulty just dropping the hammer on these people. I do. 52,000 unaccompanied minors have come across the border in the last eight months. Those are the unaccompanied ones, okay? That does not include the tens of thousands who are coming here with somebody who is 18 or older, all right? So this is a crisis, and, and now I want to deal with the political ramifications. And you have to, I, I'm going to say it, you, you and I, we had better beware how we respond to these poor souls, okay? And I tip my hat to the various church groups, the Catholic churches, some evangelical outreaches that are trying to provide a warm meal, a blanket, a place for people to wash their face and hands, to wash their hair. I mean, thank God, Jesus said, you did it to the least of these, you did it to me. And most of these people coming across the border are baptized Christians, okay? So, just be careful. Be careful what you say about them. Now let's talk about this, this commander and, and criminal at the top of our food chain. Barack Obama, our political food chain. Can you imagine any president that would allow an invasion of a foreign power into a country? Now, that's not exactly what we have here because most of them are not coming over armed. But at the end of the day, when somebody invades another country, it's for political power inside of that country. They want to control what goes on in the government. They want to control the resources, whether they're natural resources or manufacturing plants. I mean, look throughout history, why invasions happen, okay? And we're witnessing an invasion, literally an invasion. And this is, this is going to hurt some of you, and, and I am not, again, I'm not trying to cause anyone pain, but you, you have to hear me. They're not just coming here for work, okay? They're not. They're coming here for free stuff. They're coming here because at the end of the day, they know that they're going to be able to go to a hospital or a walk-in clinic and that the government, somehow or another, through some government program, federal or state, primarily federal, is going to pony up the money to care for them, to give them food, to give them medical care, to give them education. And now you have New York State, a bill introduced to say to them, we'll give them voting rights inside the state. We will let illegal immigrants run for office in New York State. That's what the bill says. And so if you think about why you have an invasion, a military invasion, many of the same end uh, fruits are present in this invasion to control our political process. When these people are finally given amnesty, which is where this freight train is, is going, my guess is that 80 to 90% of them are gonna become registered Democrats because it's the Democratic Party that is offering constant free stuff, free health care, free food stamps. And of course they're not free, Working people are paying for them, right? But they are going to end up controlling the political process. It's going to become such a huge swing block, swing voter block, that the Republican Party is going to be banished to political exile. There will be small pockets, state pockets, the Midwest, some of the more conservative states where the Republican Party and its elected officials will control local and state government, okay? But as far as federal policy, who controls 
the Ways and Means Committee, all right? Who controls the Rules Committee in the U.S. House? You understand? Who, who, who's in the White House? It's going to be the Democratic Party. And that means that the socialist plantation that has been exploding is going to continue to mushroom. And the, 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 the face of the United States of America is going to be altered politically forever. Forever. This is an invasion. And they want stuff. They want to control the assets. They want to control the production. And that's what's happening. Political power economic power. This is an invasion. Obama knows it's going on and Obama is actually helping spur it on. You better believe that Nancy Pelosi, as the House Minority Leader, spoke to the White House and they signed off on her going to the border, which is only going to further encourage people to come. All right. They Democrats have a long-term vision. They saw what Lyndon Baines Johnson did with the African-American community. He literally wrenched them out of the Republican Party by giving free stuff. And he made that horrific quote that is now legendary. Every N-word will vote for us for 200 years because of the things that we're doing for them. The free giveaways, okay? That is what we are facing now, right now. It is an invasion with political and resource uh, control at its core. And Obama knows it's going on. He is a traitor. He is a traitor to this country. I'll be right back. My wife and I for five years have been grinding our own wheat and baking our own bread from scratch. Within two hours, you can have fresh wheat in your hand and then piping hot bread come out of the oven. The most nutritious and delicious bread you will ever have. And we do it for under a dollar a loaf. Call Paula's Bread and find out about this grain mill and the mixer and how it can save you money and change your life. I have been a leader in the pro-life movement for 30 years and sadly we have not prevailed in our goal to make it a criminal act to kill an unborn baby. There's reasons why we have failed. I wrote this book, a humble plea, to Catholic bishops, to evangelical clergy and to lay people explaining where we went wrong and what we have to do to prevail. We've made this available as a PDF online for free. I encourage you to go and download your own copy.